Okay, good morning, students. Yes, I'm Gure Anwars. Okay, just I want to do the question paper summary, question paper explanation. Okay, from 2014, okay, supplementary and annual exams, July and March exams. First, we will do one mark questions, then we will do two marks, then we will do the three marks, and finally, we will do the five marks question. Okay, for this, subscribe this channel. Okay, 2014 annual March chemistry, okay, Karnataka, we go in class. Okay, here, 12th class. Chemistry. See here, I wrote some questions here, five questions. Define molarity. What is the molarity? The number of moles of a solute present in a solution. The number of moles of solute present in a solution we call as molarity. Okay, molarity for what is the principle for molarity? M it is a symbol for molarity. M is equal to N by V. Okay, N is equal to number of moles. V means band. Okay, the units for sometimes they ask the units moles per liter. Or this is the normal unit. Okay, SI units moles per cubic centimeter per cubic decimeter. This is also cubic decimeter moles per cubic decimeter. What is the molarity? The number of moles of a solute present in one liter solution we call as molarity. Units per molarity in normal and in SI units. This is the first question. Second one, mention the enthalpy of delta mixing, delta H mix, value to form an ideal solution. Solutions are two types, ideal solution and non-ideal solution. For ideal solution, okay, for ideal solution common means, okay, you take here 10 ml of one compound, one liquid and you add 10 ml of Okay, we get here 20 ml. Total 20 ml form 20 ml. That means 20 minus 20 is equal to 0. That means for ideal solutions, delta H mix is equal to 0. Okay, for non-ideal solution, delta H mix is equal to okay, more than 0 or less than 0. It may be negative or it may be positive. Sometimes 10 plus 10, okay, here you take 10 plus 10 ml, mixing you get 90 ml. Sometimes you get 90 ml, sometimes you get 21 ml. If you get 90 ml, that we call negative deviation. For that, okay, delta H mix is a negative value. Okay. If, 21, if you get 21 ml, okay, 21 ml, we call a positive deviation. For that, we use positive sign. Here 0, here negative, here positive. Should be positive. For ideal solution, delta H mix is, okay, delta H mix is, delta V mix, sorry, delta V mix is 0. And for non-ideal solution, not H mix, V mix. Delta V mix is negative, it may be positive. Okay, here positively deviated solution, its value is positive. Negatively deviated solution, its value is negative. Then, okay, see, second question, or third question, see third question. What is secondary cell? Cells are two types, rechargeable cells and Cells are two types, rechargeable cells and okay, unrechargeable cells, which are recharged repeatedly, repeatedly, which are rechargeable, the cells which are rechargeable, we call as secondary cells. The cells which are not rechargeable, those are simply considered as a primary cells. Okay, we are using torchlight, we are using batteries. Okay, those we can't 
um, recharge those we can't recharge such type of cells we call as okay unrechargeable batteries are primary batteries for example cell phone batteries they sometimes are outside they are available rechargeable batteries that means those are rechargeable batteries we recharge repeatedly cell phone charge also we recharge repeatedly okay more and more times such cells we call as secondary cell okay which are rechargeable cells we call as secondary cells okay for this reaction we gave one reaction two h i gives rise to h2 plus i2 okay they ask molecularity they ask molecularity the concentration of the okay the concentration of the reactants or products we consider as a molecularity the concentration of reactant means h i here we have to na power to this power is considered as a molecularity okay here two hi molecules in bond so the molecularity is two the molecularity is two okay next write that catalyst is used in decomposition okay fifth question decomposition of kcl o3 you take two moles of kcl o3 okay heat here we get kcl plus okay here Three moles of oxygen. This is the one of the important reaction. Okay, first time chemistry laboratory prepared oxygen by using this molecule KClO3. We call it as potassium chlorate. Here we use the manganese dioxide MnO2 as a catalyst. MnO2 used as a catalyst. Okay, these are the five questions. In continuation, we'll see some more five questions. Okay, continuation. Okay, one just question. Name the refining method used to produce semiconductors. Okay, refining method. Refining method used to the semiconductors. This is the one of the important method present in general principles in metallurgy. Zone refining method. Okay, next bit is P two hybridization. Next bit is P three. 
if carbon attached to okay, two pi bonds, one two pi bonds, it expect sp hybridization. Sp hybridization. And here, next tenth question, which is the nitrogenous base present in only RNA but not in DNA? Okay, but not in DNA. Answer is here uracil. Answer is uracil. Okay, RNA. RNA. We have adenine, guanine, and here cytosine and uracil. Okay, RNA. Okay, DNA. Adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine. Okay, these are the three base of thymine. Here we have the uracil. This is about the Okay, first question paper 2014 annual. Okay, one more questions. Next in continuation we'll see one more important. Okay. Next in continuation we'll see July 2014 question paper one more questions. What is binary solution? Binary means two. Okay, the solution which contains two components we call as binary solution. Two components. Maximum solution we consider as a binary solution. Example for this, you take water, add sodium chloride. We get here sodium chloride solution. Sodium chloride solution. This sodium chloride solution contains two components, water and sodium chloride. That's why it is called binary solution. Okay. Next, define polarity. Already we know about this one. The number of moles of a solute present in liter solution we call as molarity. The number of moles of a solute present in one liter solution we call molarity. Okay, write SI unit for molar conductivity. Okay, the SI unit for this is a specific Siemens square per mole. This is the okay Siemens square per mole. It is one of the important assignment for the okay, molar conductivity. Siemens square per mole. Next, give an example for zero order reaction. That means rate of the reaction not depends on concentration of the reactants. We call as zero order reaction. If the rate of the reaction not depends on concentration of the rate of the concentration of the reactants, we call as zero order. Okay, if it is gaseous solution is there, gaseous liquid is there, gaseous compound is there. Okay, for that we use for that all those examples are the best example for the zero order reaction. You take two moles of ammonia in presence of iron or any other heat, we get nitrogen along with the three moles of hydrogen. Here ammonia is gas. Hydrogen is also gas. Hydrogen is also gas. So rate of the reaction not depends on any one. Not depends on dilution and we choose more and more rate of the reaction not depends. And if we take gases molecule, in that also rate of the reaction not depends. So independent of the rate of the reaction, not depends on rate of the reaction. That's why it is simply considered as a zero order reaction. What is the physical adsorption? Physical absorption means, okay, definition, the accumulation, the attraction forces between gaseous adsorbate and gaseous adsorbate and solid adsorbent by the Van der Waal attraction forces we call as, okay, we call as physical absorption. The accumulation of gaseous molecule on the surface of the solid with the weak Van der Waal forces we called as physical adsorption. This is also called as Van der Waal adsorption. Example for this Van der Waal adsorption, okay, this is a charcoal. Okay, absorption of mobile gases, absorption of mobile gases and charcoal we called as physical adsorption. This is the example, this is also called Van der Waal adsorption. Next, write a composition of copper mati. Copper mati means Cu2S plus FeS. Cu2S means Q. Ok, 
Okay, here Cl2 is means two plus sulfide, iron sulfide. This we call as copper metal. Okay, this we call as copper metal. In continuation, we will see some more questions. Okay, next in continuation, the main questions. The seventh question: Write the structure of xenon tetrafluoride. Xen four means xenon tetrafluoride. Here I am drawing structure. It has a square plane or geometry. Xenon is central atom. Here fluorine, here fluorine, here fluorine, here fluorine. Here two lone pair of electrons. Here two lone pair of electron. Okay, this is we call a square plane or geometry. And here in xenon, in this xenon X bit. Okay, xenon exhibit sp3 d2 hybridization. sp3 d2 hybridization two lone pairs. So we have square planar structure. Square planar structure. Next eighth question. What are free free ions? Chlorofluorocarbons. Chlorofluorocarbon of methane or ethane. Chlorofluoro compounds of methane and chlorofluoro compounds of ethane we call as cations. CFC we call as cations. Okay, these are the important compounds. These are directly interacting with the ozone layer and causes the ozone depletion. Okay, suppose for example CF three CL. For example, CH2, F2, CH2. These are all chlorofluorocarbons. Next, give the IUPAC name of this molecule. CH3, CH4. Okay, CH3, CH4. IUPAC name of that molecule. CH3, CH4. It contains two carbon atoms. Write it. No double bond between two atoms. A. And here CH4 functional group is there. Ah, itna. The UPS name of this one, itna. Common name of this one is acetaldehyde. Acetaldehyde. Next step, tenth question. Name the protein present in A. Carotene. Carotene present in A. That's why A is black color. A is in black color. This is about the. टू क्वेश्चन पेपर 2014 वन मार्क क्वेश्चन थैंक यू